Welcome back into GMQC at 11 here. And I'm actually joined by some special guests to talk about a really neat event that's coming up next month. And this is something I'm personally involved in, so I'm really, really excited about this. So I've got with me this morning, uh, Shanda McDonald, and I've also got Heather Wanninger uh, with me as well. You guys are with the Pathways Program. Um, and for people that aren't familiar with what the Pathways Program is, let's go ahead and tell them about that. Um, it's an opportunity for students to get some work-based learning. Uh, they get 60 hours of post-secondary credit and they really get their hands dirty. They get to really learn, is this what I really want to do before I leave high school? What age group are, are we specifically targeting? So uh, high school students. We start some career exploration early on um, down in the middle school levels, but it's really high school students. And how long has something like this been around that this has been going on? Um, so laws were passed um, in 2016. Yeah, okay, so not that long ago. Yeah. Um, but we've been working and supporting this for a couple of years now. The state put a lot of money behind education because there's a teacher shortage. Um, and so then we've continued to grow the pathways and encourage students in any area they're interested in. But specifically in our area, we're talking about health sciences, ag, and health science. And I want to mention too, which okay. specific area uh, of the Quad Cities are we covering that you guys serve? Uh, we serve Lee, Ogle, and Whiteside County in Excellent. Illinois. Excellent. So Sterling Rock Falls, Morrison, yep. all those areas, Dixon. So the event we're going to be talking about uh, is actually coming up in October next month. And I'm super excited to be back. This is year number two for this. This is your Pathways Playground program. So tell us a little bit about what this day is. So the Pathway Playground is a career exploration event for our area 8th grade students. So we're bringing in students from the Ogle and Whiteside County. We have about over a thousand students come and come through the day and they get to just interact with different businesses. We have a variety of businesses and they come, they interact, they find out about different careers and what they might be interested in for the future. And I gotta say, it is amazing the spread of different careers that you guys have at this event. In fact, I wanna show a couple of pictures um, that you sent our way of the actual event itself. I mean, you're talking everything from nursing to construction. I remember the Illinois Department of Transportation was there. So many different ones. Kind of touch on some of the folks that do come to these. Um, so we cover the seven uh, career clusters for Illinois. So we cover agriculture and um, natural resources. We cover human and public services, health sciences, business and finance. Um, what am I missing? Uh, All the things. Manufacturing. manufacturing. Yeah. And IT. And what I love about this event too, as you can see from the pictures, it's it's very hands-on. Yes. Students are not just going, you know, from booth to booth and we're getting a little talk. You're actually getting a demonstration, you're doing something hands-on. Yes, right? very much so. Yes. So the thing is, you know, we've got the students. There's gonna be more than a thousand of them at this event. It's Sock Valley Community College in Dixon. Mm -hmm. But we need more businesses and we need more industries, right? Yes, we do. So who are we looking for specifically? Um any business that is willing to come out and spend an entire day with us and over a thousand um, eighth grade students. Um, but we are really kind of short this year in our IT, arts and communication, and uh, business and finance. So we're a little short in those areas. Excellent. So if anybody's in business that is in any of those industries, this is a really great opportunity to not only get your name out there, but actually influence, like we said earlier, the next generation of the workforce coming yes. in. Is there a fee to register or participate in this at all? Nope. Excellent. And so this is going to be on Friday, October 20th. Yes. And for how long? It runs from 8 to 3. And the students will circle through throughout the day. Excellent. I want to reiterate, it's, it's not an event that is like open to the public. We've got all these schools that are registered to come in. Yes. So you don't want to just come and show up, you know, with your eighth grader, obviously, because yes. this is going to require <laughs> registration. But how do folks, you know, if they have a business or they're in an industry or a trade, how can they register for this and what's the deadline? When do they need to get in touch with you guys by? Go ahead. So we'll, um, we will take anybody up till about uh, about 10 days till the event, just because we have to prep and get everything ready. Um, but reach out to us um, on the ROE 47 uh, website and we will um, give you all the information you need. That is excellent. Yeah, and I can't reiterate again, it's a fantastic event. I'm looking forward to getting out there. Um, had a green screen there last year, so students could come up and, and see what it's like to do the weather on television and being broadcast. So make sure and check it out. Um, we have all the details actually on our website, and we'll have that up here shortly at WQAD.com. But mark your calendar again if you're a business owner or you're in the trades industry. It's Friday, October 20th from 8 in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's at Sauk Valley Community College. 
there on Route 2 in Dixon. Thank you, ladies, so much for coming in. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I look forward to seeing you coming up on Friday the 20th of October. We are excited. We'll see you then.